Hello guys. So I've been playing Crusader Kings 3 more often now. No shit. And I have been looking around in the game, especially things that would not be realized as part of the game. In the hopes of finding something interesting for a YouTube video, and I did found something in the game. If we look at any county or kingdom title, there is this button that allows you to see who held it. And it makes it easier for us, the player, to take track of the things going on in our game. And for the most part, I really commend Paradox for adding this type of feature. And I found it to be mostly accurate. Only mostly. As I found a female emperor here named Helio Gabalus here. And I hate Paradox a bit for this little detail. Let me explain. I do not hate the fact that there is a female emperor in the game. I hate this because Helio Gabalus is not really a woman, but Holy fish paste! It's a guy! A man in real life. Historically, he is what we call a homosexual. No shit! And it's true that he acted and dressed as a woman, but for Paradox to make him into a biological woman is just simply pandering to political correctness and historical revisionism. I have been aware for a while that they have been bowing down to political correctness or the zeitgeist for a while now. Almost censoring the world Deus Vault when Crusader Kings 3 was still in development. We can even see that in Crusader Kings 2, Helio Gabalus is correctly made as a man. I really fear and is pessimistic for the future of Crusader Kings 3. What more type of historical revisionism they would commit if they are blatant enough to change history as they see fit. By doing this, they no longer respect history. It may be argued that Crusader Kings 3 is not a historically accurate game, and I know that. But Paradox can do whatever the fuck they want with their IP. But to the people who play their games because of how much they love history and respect history, it is a sad day for us.